The genus Tamarix tamarisk, salt cedar, is composed of about 50 to 60 species of flowering plants in the family Tamaricaceae, native to drier areas of Eurasia and Africa. The generic name originated in Latin and may refer to the Tamaris River in Hispania Terraconensis Spain. Description They are evergreen or deciduous shrubs or trees growing to 1 to 18 meters in height and forming dense thickets. The largest, Tamarix afila, is an evergreen tree that can grow to 18 meters tall. They usually grow on saline soils, tolerating up to 15,000 ppm soluble salt and can also tolerate alkaline conditions. Tamarisks are characterized by slender branches and gray-green foliage. The bark of young branches is smooth and reddish-brown. As the plants age, the bark becomes bluish-purple, ridged and furrowed. The leaves are scale-like, almost like that of junipers 1–2 mm long, and overlap each other along the stem. They are often encrusted with salt secretions. The pink to white flowers appear in dense masses on 5 to 10 cm long spikes at branch tips from March to September, though some species e affila, tend to flower during the winter. <inaudible> Reproduction Tamarix can spread both vegetatively, by adventitious roots or submerged stems, and sexually, by seeds. Each flower can produce thousands of tiny 1 mm diameter seeds that are contained in a small capsule usually adorned with a tuft of hair that aids in wind dispersal. Seeds can also be dispersed by water. Seedlings require extended periods of soil saturation for establishment. Tamarisk trees are most often propagated by cuttings. Tamarisk species are fire adapted, and have long tap roots that allow them to intercept deep water tables and exploit natural water resources. They are able to limit competition from other plants by taking up salt from deep ground water, accumulating it in their foliage, and from there depositing it in the surface soil where it builds up concentrations temporarily detrimental to some plants. The salt is washed away during heavy rains. Tamarix species are used as food plants by the larvae of some Lepidoptera species including Coleophora asthenella which feeds exclusively on T. africana. Uses The tamarisk is used as an ornamental shrub, a windbreak, and a shade tree. The wood may be used for carpentry or firewood. It is a possible agroforestry species. Plans are being made for the tamarisk to play a role in anti-desertification programs in China. Salt cedars can be planted to mine salts, then be used in the production of fuel and fertilizer although the latter will be somewhat salty. Topic. Invasive species Tamarix ramosissima has naturalized and become a major invasive plant species in parts of the world, such as in the southwestern United States and desert region of California, consuming large amounts of groundwater in riparian and oasis habitats due to the density of its stands. The high salt level in tamarisk infiltrates the soil preventing other plants from growing, creating a tamarisk dominant forest with no understory, void of important habitat for pollinators and other native species. Tamarisk forests also tend to burn hotter than most native riparian trees. Acres of uninterrupted tamarisk is a fire hazard and a risk to human structures. The balance and strength of the native flora and fauna are being restored by tamarisk eradication projects using a combination of methods, including manual stem cutting followed by the application of herbicide to the stump, and burning stands of tamarisk, with subsequent low-volume herbicide application to resprouts. Herbicide application is most effective in the summer months when the plant is doing a lot of photosynthesis. It will pull the herbicide into the vascular tissue and lead to higher success rate. The easiest form of removal is pulling the young sprouts before they can become established. As babies they are very easy to pull up by hand. Hikers in riparian areas should keep their eyes out for baby tamarisk and remove if possible. Topic selected species topic Formerly placed here Miracaria germanica L. D. E. S. V. As T. germanica L. Topic tamarisk In North America the tamarisk was introduced to the United States as an ornamental shrub, a windbreak, and a shade tree in the early 19th century. 
In the 1930s, during the Great Depression, tree planting was used as a tool to fight soil erosion on the Great Plains, and the trees were planted by the millions in the Great Plains shelter belt. Eight species are found in North America. They can be divided into two subgroups, evergreen speciestimerix aphila athel tree, a large evergreen tree, does not sexually reproduce in the local climate and is not considered a seriously invasive species. The athel tree is commonly used for windbreaks on the edge of agricultural fields and as a shade tree in the deserts of the southwestern United States. Deciduous species The second subgroup contains the deciduous tamarisks, which are small, shrubby trees, commonly known as saltseeders. These include Tamarix pentandra, Tamarix tetranda, Tamarix gallica, Tamarix chinensis, Tamarix ramosissima, and Tamarix parvifolia. These deciduous trees establish themselves in disturbed and undisturbed streams, waterways, bottom lands, banks, and drainage washes of natural or artificial water bodies, moist rangelands and pastures, and other areas where seedlings can be exposed to extended periods of saturated soil for establishment. Topic invasive species Tamarix species are commonly believed to disrupt the structure and stability of North American native plant communities and degrade native wildlife habitat, by out-competing and replacing native plant species, salinizing soils, monopolizing limited sources of moisture, and increasing the frequency, intensity, and effect of fires and floods. While individual plants may not consume larger quantities of water than native species, large, dense stands of tamarisk do consume more water than equivalent stands of native cottonwoods. An active and ongoing debate exists as to when the tamarisk can outcompete native plants, and if it is actively displacing native plants or it just taking advantage of disturbance by removal of natives by humans and changes in flood regimens. Research on competition between tamarisk seedlings and co-occurring native trees has found that the seedlings are not competitive over a range of environments, Share, Marshall and Taylor 2002 but stands of mature trees effectively prevent native species establishment in the understory, due to low light, elevated salinity, and possibly changes to the soil biota. Box elder Acer Nagundo, a native riparian tree seedlings survive and grow under higher shade conditions than tamarix seedlings, and mature tamarix specimens die after one to two years of 98% shade, indicating a pathway for successional replacement of tamarix by box elder. Anthropogenic activities that preferentially favor tamarisk such as changes to flooding regimens are associated with infestation. To date, Tamarix has taken over large sections of riparian ecosystems in the western United States that were once home to native cottonwoods and willows, and are projected by some to spread well beyond the current range. Topic controls Pest populations of Tamarisk in the United States can be dealt with in several ways. The National Park Service has used the methods of physically removing the plants, spraying them with herbicides, and introducing northern Tamarisk beetles in the national park system. This has been done in the Dinosaur National Monument in Utah and Colorado along the Green and Yampa Rivers, during the summers of 2006 and 2007. After years of study, the USDA Agricultural Research Service has found that the tamarisk beetles eat only the tamarisk, and starve when no more tamarisk is available. No other native North American plants have been found to be eaten by the introduced tamarisk beetle. Progress is slow, but proves that containment of the tamarisk is possible in the long term. Cultural history In the Epic of Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh's mother, the goddess Ninsen, ceremoniously bathes in a bath of tamarisk and soapwort before allowing Gilgamesh and Enkidu to begin their conquest. In Genesis chapter 21 verse 33, Abraham is recorded to have planted a tamarisk at Beersheba. He had built a well there, earlier. In 1 Samuel chapter 22 verse 6, Saul is sitting under a tamarisk tree on a hill at Gibeah when he learns that David has returned to Judah. In Shahnameh, only a tamarisk arrow to the eye can wound the otherwise invincible prince Esfandiar. In the Quran 34 to 16, the people of Saba were punished when Allah converted their two garden rows into gardens producing bitter fruit and tamarisks. In the Old Testament, Saul's bones are buried under a tamarisk tree in Jabesh. In Egyptian mythology, the body of Osiris is hidden for a time in a tamarisk tree in Byblos, until it was retrieved by Isis. A reference to this is also made in the computer game, Age of Mythology, in which the head of Osiris is said to be hidden inside the trunk of a great tamarisk tree. Wedgwood made a 
Tamarisk China pattern. According to the New Larousse Encyclopedia of Mythology, the tamarisk plant is a favorite of the Greek god Apollo. References Further reading Christensen, E. M. The Rate of Naturalization of Tamarics in Utah. American Midland Naturalist, American Midland Naturalist, Vol. 68, No. 1, 68 51–57, doi, 10.2307, 2422635, 2 Stromberg, J. C. Dynamics of Fremont Cottonwood Populus Fremonti and Saltcedar Tamarix genesis Populations along the San Pedro River, Arizona. Journal of Arid Environments, 40 130-155, 10.1006, JER.1998.0438 Zamora Arroyo, F. Regeneration of native trees in response to flood releases from the United States into the delta of the Colorado River, Mexico. Journal of Arid Environments, 49, 49, 49 to 64. DOI 10.1006/JER.2001.0835. Zavalita, E. 2001. The Economic Value of Controlling an Invasive Shrub. Ambio, 29, 8, 462-467, doi, 10.1639-0044-7447 Opening parenthesis 2000 Opening parenthesis 0290 Closing parenthesis 029 Opening square bracket 0462 colon Tivoca Closing square bracket 2.0.co, 2. Share, AA, 2002, Spatial Partitioning Within Southwestern Floodplains, Patterns of Establishment of Native Populace and Salix in the Presence of Invasive, Non-Native Tamarics, Ecological Applications, 12-760-772, doi, 10.1890-1051.0001 Opening Opening parenthesis 2002 Closing parenthesis 012 Opening square bracket 0760 colon Epinpa Closing square bracket 2.0.co, 2. .co, 2. Taylor 1998, Restoration of Saltcedar, Tamarix SP, Infested Floodplains on the Bosque del Apache National Wildlife Refuge, Weed Technology, 12-345-352. Shafroth 2000, Woody Riparian Vegetation Response to Different Alluvial Water Table Regimes, Western North American Naturalist, 60-66-76. Merritt, David M., Cooper, David J. 2000, Riparian Vegetation and Channel Change in Response to River Regulation, A Comparative Study of Regulated and Unregulated Streams in the Green River Basin, USA, Regulated Rivers, Research and Management, 16 6, 543-564, doi, 10.1002-1099-1646 Opening parenthesis 200011-12 Closing parenthesis 16 colon 63.0.co, 2n. Horton, J. L., Kolb, T. E., Hart, S. C. 2001, Responses of Riparian Trees to Interannual Variation in Ground Water Depth in a Semi-Arid River Basin, Plant, Cell and Environment, 24 293-304, doi, 10.1046, j.1365-3040.2001.0001 x. Topic external links Species Profile Saltcedar Tamarix SPP, National Invasive Species Information Center, United States National Agricultural Library. Lists general information and resources for saltcedar. Flora Europea Tamarix Flora of China Tamarix Species List USNPS Guide Tamarix Genus Zipcodezoo.com Exotic Tamarisk on the Colorado Plateau Tamarix, a natural resource on which the communities depend for fuelwood, tools, and basket making. Afforestation and salinity control using tamarisks, in western China Introduction of the tamarisk beetle in Dinosaur National Monument Saltcedar, Center for Invasive Species <laughs>